Hey Cigar Pals, Chuck here. We got the V19 CAO V19 Flathead Camshaft. Uh, we're going to do a little review on this today. This is a uh, general cigar product. It's uh, full strength with a 5.5 uh, <clears throat> by 50 box press. You can see. Anyhow, we're going to do a little review. Be back. All right, wrapper smells a little chocolatey and a uh, little leather, maybe a little coffee in there. And uh, on the cold draw, getting that leather and that uh, little bit of a uh, little chocolate there. Uh, fire it up and see what we think all right yep picking up some of that leather and I'm not picking up any pepper or anything anyhow I picked this up the other day at uh, Sioux Falls South Dakota uh, Stogie's downtown they call themselves and I'm going to write a little bit about that and tell you a little bit about that. Matter of fact, I'll probably put this video in that uh, because there's some things that go on in South Dakota that um, it's a hard place to get cigars to, to be in the cigar business. But so far, nice stick. I'll be back. All right, we're back, burning a little bit. Are picking up a little bit of pepper in here, and a little on the tongue and on the, through the retro hail, but uh, so far, nice cigar. The CAO Flathead V19 camshaft is a hardy box pressed robusto. It uses a short fermentation time so it can retain its natural flavor, which is refined with a longer aging process. The CAO Flathead V19 sports a dark, oily USA Connecticut broadleaf wrapper draped over Connecticut Habano binder, which contains specially bended Nicaraguan Dominican fillers. The result, a muscular full-strength stick that will appeal to the veteran aficionado. The CAO Flathead V19 is hand-rolled in Nicaragua. Now you know. <laughs> and so far, the burn's a little off. It's canoeing a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully I won't have to touch this up, but We'll see. We'll be back. We're back and we got some serious canoeing going on here, folks. I'm going to have to touch it up. I'm not real happy about that this early on. We'll see how it goes, but we've had one touch up and we're only an inch in. Hmm. It's recording. All right. <clears throat> We're back through the first third, or about. <laughs> uh, still burning pretty good. I'm getting a coffee flavor, a little bit of chocolate, kind of like almost like a mocha, maybe. Not quite. More of a coffee taste, though. Still get the leathery, a little bit of pepper, not bad at all. So uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty good cigar. Um, I don't like that canoeing, but uh, the stick itself is going pretty good. But uh, overall, not bad. We'll be back. Folks, I could smoke this cigar every day. I couldn't afford it. It's like an $11 stick. But I could smoke it every day. Um, it's full body, but it's uh, the kind of cigar that I would enjoy <clears throat> on a regular basis. I will be buying these again. And it's it's made by CAO, and it's part of the Flathead collection. And I've always liked the Flathead. So, you know, 
matter of fact, there was a lot of things by CAA, CAO that I like. And I think that's what I like most about CAO is I like their complexity. Uh, almost every cigar I've smoked has, uh, they're, they're kind of a complex cigar, and I, I like that. Anyhow, we're about halfway through. Burning nice. Uh, good stick. Be back. I'm back, and uh, this is starting to really take on a strong leather, leathery taste, and also uh, it's becoming pretty peppery. You know, I still got that coffee note in there, but uh, the pepper is kind of getting pretty strong. Surprise me, but. We'll be back. I'm about down to the band. Gonna peel that off here pretty quick. <clears throat> but uh, the ash has been doing really good, falling off in about one inch chunks. You know, so it's doing pretty good. That uh, problem we were having with the uh, canoeing early on has not been an issue any longer. So uh, doing pretty good. Good stick. Like it. Mm -hmm. 